Welcome back to General Chemistry on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to do a third example of drawing Lewis structures. And in this case, we're going to do it for the molecule that's known as chloroform, or CHCl3. So chloroform was actually a compound, very simple compound, that was actually used as used for anesthesia a long time ago before the invention of a lot of the uh, modern anesthetics because this compound, when you inhale it, it actually knocks you out. So it was used for that purpose, as shown in this picture right here. But enough on that. Let's actually draw the chemical structure, or the Lewis structure, I should say, for chloroform CHCl3. Now, we're going to approach this in exactly the same way as we did before, but there's a problem, as we'll see in the second step, that's an easy solution, but if you haven't seen it before, it might uh, throw you off. We have two atoms there's a, that there's actually only one of. Okay, so But first, let's count the total number of valence electrons. Okay, We're going to do this in the same way as we've done in the previous videos. We're going to look at the number of valence electrons per atom and then add them up. So we have one carbon, we've got one hydrogen, and three chlorines. So let's first figure out how many valence electrons there are in a carbon atom. So carbon is over here in column four or group four because remember we have column one, column two with beryllium, we skip all the transition metals, boron is column three, four, five, six, seven, and then helium down, that's group or column eight. Carbon's in group four, so carbon will have four valence electrons. Hydrogen is all the way over in group one on the left. So hydrogen's easy, that's just one valence electron. Okay, there's one of them, so one valence electron. And then each of these three chlorine atoms, chlorine is in group seven, so it's gonna have seven valence electrons per chlorine, so seven valence electrons. So we have one times four, plus one times one, plus three times seven, which means four valence electrons from the carbon, one valence electron from the hydrogen, and 21 total valence electrons from the chlorines. And we add that together, and we get a total for this compound chloroform of 26 valence electrons, okay? So that's uh, usually the most intensive step right there, is just calculating how many electrons you have total, valence that is. Next, we need to determine the central atom. Now, in the previous two videos, that was pretty easy because the central atom is just the minority atom, generally. So, in this compound, BF3, obviously there's only one boron and there's three fluorines, so boron was the central atom. In the next example, we have three bromines and one selenium. Selenium's the central atom. Here we have two atoms where there's only one of them. We have a carbon and we have a hydrogen. Which one's the central atom? Here's a good rule of thumb that is always true. Uh, for general chemistry, that is. There's one example in advanced and organic, but hydrogen is never the central atom. Um, that's because hydrogen's weird, and unlike the other elements, or atoms, I should say at the beginning of the periodic table, hydrogen cannot have eight electrons. In fact, it can only have a maximum of two. That's something you do need to memorize. Hydrogen can only have a max of two electrons. So, Hydrogen really can never be the central atom for that reason. The central atom in this case will be carbon, okay? So I put carbon as my central atom, which is shown down here, and then kind of going along with that, step three, I draw all the peripheral atoms around the central atom bound by single bonds, which are gonna be two bonding electrons per single bond. So I have three chlorines, so one chlorine here, a second one here, the third one down here at the bottom, and then over here I'm going to put the hydrogen over on the right side. Again, it doesn't matter. I could have put the hydrogen over here. Uh, doesn't matter, okay? As long as each one of these is surrounding the central carbon. And then I remember that each of these bonds represents two bonding electrons. So each bond is two electrons, so that's a total of eight because there are four bonds. So I need a total of 26 valence electrons, and... I've already used eight of them. So um, all I need to do now is I need to add lone pairs or non-bonding electrons um, potentially up to this maximum number of valence electrons while not exceeding the octet on any atom. All right, so on each of these chlorines, they're gonna be very similar to the bromines and the fluorines from the previous videos. The chlorines are each gonna get uh, three lone pairs or six non-bonding electrons. So this chlorine at the top here is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, the reason I don't put any more non-bonding electrons on here is because 
each chlorine, does, you don't want to violate its octet. So it has six non-bonding electrons, but you have to count the two from the bond that connects it to the central atom. So that's two electrons, plus the six non-bonding is eight. And so now this chlorine has its maximum number of lone pairs. Okay, so I'm not going to put any more on it. I'm going to do the same thing with these other two chlorine atoms. So they're each going to get six non-bonding electrons, which is three lone pairs, six non-bonding electrons. All right, and so uh, the question then is, um, do I put any on the hydrogen? Well, what we'll see is when we actually add up these, we'll actually get to 26. But in any case, we never put lone pairs on hydrogen. Um, you will never see that unless the hydrogen is a lone atom, in which case there's really no point in drawing the Lewis structure. But you will never put any lone pairs ever on hydrogen. Okay, so we've already got eight from these bonds. Let's count these up. So here's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. So again, I've got my 26 valence electrons. I did not have to put any on the hydrogen, nor would I ever do that. I got the eight valence electrons from the bonds, and then the remaining ones, which would have been 18 more, would come from the non-bonding electrons or lone pairs on these chlorine atoms. Okay, and so this is actually going to be the chemical structure, or the Lewis structure, I should say, for chloroform. All right, so hopefully this makes sense to you. Um, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.